is for Amber, who's taking the bus. B is for Barry, who's feeding the doves. C is for Clara, cleaning her lambs. D is for Dora, hanging out with her friends. E is for Eric, who's digging too deep. F is for Freddy, whose heart stopped to beat. G is for Gary, who's crossing the street. Hello, I'm Roland Sanson, technician at Volvo Trucks. I have been working with the ground clearance of the new Volvo FMX. I'm very proud to say it's fantastic. We have a stiff plate protecting all vital parts and we have positioned airspring members and air bellows higher up. This means 300 mm ground clearance, just a little bit more than my head. If you want more information, please go to volvotracks.com. Thank you.
then walk up. Then I stop there, then I drive it. Left and right, back and forward. Welcome to this experiment for Volvo. Today is the ultimate test of the steering system. You will see a hamster steering a truck from the bottom of this quarry to the top. This environment looks beautiful, but it is very, very dangerous. The hamster cannot look out the window, so we will have the driver, Sean, guide their hamster with a camera. Good boy! With the VDS system, it's very easy to steer. I can steer it with my fingertips. Hi Sean, it's Charlie. Lovely. Good luck. Oh, and don't forget this, very important. I've had my ups and downs, my fair share of bumpy roads and heavy winds. That's what made me what I am today. Now I stand here before you. What you see is a body crafted to perfection. A pair of legs engineered to defy the laws of physics. And a mindset to master the most epic of splits.
my goodness, don't you remember when you went first to school? You went to kindergarten. And in kindergarten, the idea was to push along so that you could get into first grade. And then push along so that you could get into second grade, third grade, and so on, going up and up. And then you went to high school, and this was a great transition in life. And now the pressure is being put on. You must get ahead. You must go up the grades and finally be good enough to get to college. And then when you get to college, you're still going step by step, step by step, up to the great moment in which you're ready to go out into the world. And then when you get out into this famous world comes the struggle for success in profession or business. And then, suddenly, when you're about 40 or 45 years old in the middle of life, you wake up one day and say, Huh? I've arrived. And while it is of tremendous use for us to be able to look ahead and to plan, there is no use planning for a future, which when you get to it and it becomes a present, you won't be there. You'll be living in some other future which hasn't yet arrived. And so in this way, one is never able actually to inherit and enjoy the fruits of one's actions. You can't live at all unless you can live fully.